the I-77 Autogroup.com drive of the game. I-77 Auto Group in Ripley is your one place to find your next new car, truck, or SUV. I-77 Auto Group features Ford, Chevrolet, Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, and Ram. And with over $12 million in inventory, you're sure to find what you're looking for. I-77 Auto Group, exit 132, Ripley. 72 receivers to the right and two to the left. Now Thompson comes in motion left to right. Here's the snap. Trickett dropping back. Penalty marker has been thrown. And the ball goes to the far sideline. Way overthrown. Intended for shorts. It lands in the WVU sideline area. Flag has been thrown. It's against the Mountaineers. Two receivers over to the right and two to the left. This time shorts comes in motion left to right. They're going to hand the ball off to Wendell Smallwood. Smallwood breaks from one tackler and falls over the 25-yard line ahead of the 28. Eight yards on that play. Clock winding at 37 seconds. Now 35. Over the ball goes the center. Tyler Orlowski sends the ball back to Trickett. Hands the ball off again to Smallwood. Smallwood meets a crowd at the 32-yard line. He'll get knocked down to the turf. But they do stop the clock momentarily on that first down run on a four-yard gain. 28 seconds. All right. So we've gotta, gotta, you need to get to the 35, Tony, to get a field goal opportunity. We've got three receivers, including White over to the right. Mario Alford, great speed to the left. And here's Trickett dropping back to throw. Sets his feet over the middle. Ball is caught ahead of the 43-yard line. Jordan Thompson hauled it in. Clock stops with 20 seconds to go on an 11-yard gain. It's a first down. That momentarily stops the change. You've got 18 seconds. Now the clock starts to wind. Whistle timeout with 17 seconds left. This is a Texas Tech defense that's given up big plays all season long, and West Virginia needs one now. Ready to go on first and 10. From the 43-yard line, Trickett dropping. Trickett throwing the ball, and it is caught by Jordan Thompson. First down. Ahead to the 46-yard line of West Virginia. They're going to move the chains. The clock frozen momentarily at 14 seconds. Now Trickett goes under his center, and we've got an injured Texas Tech player with, as soon as he winds it, and he starts to wind it. Triple receivers left. Here's the snap. It's going to be a handoff for Russell Shell, and he will take the ball inside the 40 to the 38-yard line, and Dana takes the timeout there with seven seconds to Final go. charge timeout. West Virginia. So, 34-34 is our score, folks. Uh, seven seconds to go here in the fourth quarter. West Virginia's rallied here after trailing by double digits. And Clint Trickett's ready. He's got three receivers over to the short right side of the field. Single receiver Alford to the left. Just seven seconds remain. Snap comes back to Trickett. He is going to throw to the sideline. Ball incomplete mm. for Dekeel Shorts. Three seconds left. And here comes the field goal unit. Had a chance into that trip, Tony. Just yep. a high throw. A high throw and a little long out of bounds. He was just a little little steamed up today. I don't know. It, everything was a little long and a little high. They're going to line up for a 55-yard field goal attempt to win the game. Josh Lambert comes on. Career long of 54. And Cliff Kingsbury Final uses. Time out. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so Lambert, who has had game win winners against TCU and against Maryland, lines up for a career-long 55-yard field goal to win the game from the far right side hash mark. The young man from Garland, Texas, is ready. Snap comes back. Kick on the way. That kick is up. That kick is good. Wow, wow. A 55-yard field goal on the final play of the game.